What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video, in this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for SO2 or sulfur dioxide. First thing I need to do, I need to find out the central atom and surrounding atom. And we know the bonding capacity for both of them are two, So, but the number of atoms of sulfur is one and the number of atoms of oxygen is two, so we assume that sulfur is the central atom in this case then what we need to do we need to find total number of valence electrons which is going to be six for sulfur and two times six for oxygen so that's going to be 18 electrons so what i need to do i need to put bonding pair between each adjacent pair of atoms and then I need to place pairs of their valence electron for lone pair 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 just the surrounding atom then we need to check how many electrons are still available so we had originally 18 of them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 times 2 is 16 is gonna be two so we have two of them are still available so what I can do I'm gonna because I need to show it step by step I need to redraw it again I need to place these two electrons in here so when I check the octet rule here we have oxygen octet rule we have this one has an octet as well but sulfur we have only six electrons in here and doesn't have an octet so what we need to do we need to move one of these lone pairs to the middle one and make it as a bonding pair so we have double bond between sulfur and oxygen one of them so right now, 2, 4, 6, 8 for oxygen, 2, 4, 6, 8 for this oxygen, and for sulfur we have 2, 4, 6, 8. So all of them have octet. So SO2 is going to be like that. And it is resonating. However, if you see, oxygen is more electronegative comparing to sulfur. So oxygen, this one, this single bond is slightly more negative comparing to sulfur. So another more stable Lewis structure for this compound is going to be double bond for both oxygen. And we're going to have two lone pairs on the oxygen and one lone pair for the sulfur so this is going to be the most stable loose structure for sulfur dioxide please leave me a comment if you have any question and thank you for watching this video